Hello. So I am Michael Matheny and this is A Sense of Travel. So thanks so much for being here on my channel today. Um, I wanted to give you a little bit of a background as to what I'm doing here um, and why I'm so excited to share this content with you. So I grew up in a pretty small town, uh, relatively speaking. I grew up in Greenville, South Carolina. And as a family, we really didn't have a lot of money growing up. So we definitely didn't travel. Um, you know, the furthest we went was like Ohio and no knocks on Ohio. Okay, maybe a few knocks on Ohio. I remember thinking that I would live and die in that city, right? Like I, I thought that was the perfect place to be. Uh, I never really needed to experience anything else. And I was so, so wrong. So when my friends and I took our very first trip out of the country, and by the way, this was my first time on an airplane. This was, I mean, it was after college. We went to Dublin, Ireland, and then we went to London, England. And as you can imagine, for a guy who grew up in a pretty small town, um, it's quite the shift. And I remember in both of those places being so mesmerized by the smallest things, like feeling the grass in Dublin or smelling the water of the Thames in London and, and just sitting in the fact that I was so far from what I knew, so far from home and everything felt different to me. The pavement on the roads, the way the air smelled, it was, it was so novel, it was so new. And that's kind of where this idea was born. I remember FaceTiming my mom when I was sitting outside of Tower Bridge at a Starbucks and telling her that I was moving. I was packing my stuff up. I was moving as far away from Greenville, South Carolina as I could. I could have stayed in London for the rest of my life and been happy. That's how I felt in that moment. Different places around the world are more than just what you see in pictures. They're more than what you see in a caption on Instagram. They're places that you can feel tangibly, that all of the collective environs create and tell a story of. And I thought, man, I want to know what other places around the world are like. What, would it, what does it smell like there? What does it feel like to actually experience being in, I don't know, Nepal, which is somewhere I've always been quite fascinated with. There was a gap in the travel vlog sphere for people talking about what those experiential elements felt like and what it was to experience them. And so a sense of travel was born. My family and friends really didn't get to travel outside of the South, much less the country. And, you know, it's one thing to look at pictures and read blogs that tell you this is where you should go. But what if you don't have the option to go there? You know, what if you don't have the chance to experience these places tangibly for yourself? And that's why this mission is so important to me. You know, I want to be able to immerse you into what it feels like to be in Boston, you know, what the air smells like in Amsterdam, the color palette that you'll experience in Tokyo. My hope is that as you join this community, as you join this channel, that I can translate some of my experiences around the world into something tangible for you so that you can immerse yourself imaginatively into the five senses of all of these amazing places around the planet. Whether it's through full length vlogs or a Tastes of the World series or a Sense of the World series or color palettes that create the ambiance of different cities around the world. I hope that you find the content on this channel both enjoyable, entertaining, but also educational and informative and in some way, shape, or form, quenching to your sense of wanderlust. Seriously, thanks a ton for being here. I'm, I'm so excited to share all of my content from around the world with you. If you like what you see, uh, please subscribe and click the little notification button on the channel just so you can see when I've shared new stuff um, from around the world. I'm stoked that you're here and I'm excited to share these adventures with you. Um, you can also visit ascenseoftravel.com if you prefer the written format. Um, although, you know, you're on YouTube, so my presumption is that you don't. But nonetheless, thanks again. I'll see you soon.